What's up people? Welcome back to the Boxing Objective. I have to be honest, I'm not in a very good mood because of what I'm hearing out there. It looks like, I'm sure you've seen it in the thumbnail, that Manny Pacquiao versus Errol Spence is in serious jeopardy. No, God, please, no, 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 no! So I'm hearing a few conflicting stories and I came to realize why um, the two names connected and that's uh, Conor McGregor and Mickey Garcia. Now, they both have the same manager by the name of Audi Attar, who is part of Paradigm Sports Management. Now, Manny Pacquiao's name was connected with quite a few different fighters from last year. Even Conor McGregor's name was thrown into the hat. We didn't know who he was gonna end up fighting. We pretty much all knew that, you know, he's coming to the end of his career and maybe he's gonna go out with a bang. And one of the names that was put into the hat was Mickey Garcia. Now they was trying to get a fight done back in February. Obviously the fight never materialized. Manny Pacquiao then agreed to fight Errol Spence. Now Adi Attar claims that as a result of Manny Pacquiao breaching the agreement that they had, Mickey Garcia then left his management group and is now claiming that Manny Pacquiao's actions have directly hurt his brand. He wants to sue Manny Pacquiao for I think three and a half million dollars and he also wants to block Manny Pacquiao's next fight from happening. Now this is starting to get a bit ridiculous. Is this whole you know blocking fights gonna become a thing now? You know people having arbitration litigation and all these kind of things to block what boxing actually wants because this fight was very very significant you know Manny Pacquiao is a household name he's probably the only active legend at the moment who is genuinely active and for him to go in to fight Errol, Errol Spence you know we all wanted Manny Pacquiao to win that one you know do it for the old guard but at the same time, you knew that this was kind of a changing of the guard because Errol Spence is the next man coming in. He's the next big superstar. So to block this fight, I mean, it's like she. Now, if Manny Pacquiao's team or the people representing him have done something that they shouldn't have done, then, you know, Audi Attar is well within his rights to take these guys to court. Don't get me wrong, if, if if they have breached and they have not handled their business properly, then yeah, of course he's well within his rights to go there and to sue for damages. But my God, man, what's gonna happen to the fight? Now, as it stands, the fight is still on. But if Paradigm Sports Management gets their way, the fight's gonna be off. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with this one, people, because I, for one, am not confident as to how this may turn out given what has just happened with the undisputed fight it looks like once somebody i mean who goes to court who puts their money into fighting a case if they don't have a case if it makes it to the courtroom it's simply because the evidence is very very strong and you've got a legitimate argument so what is going to happen here are we going to see manny pacquiao fight errol spence are we going to see manny pacquiao fight again could Manny Pacquiao's career come to an abrupt end because of this case? Will he be able to fight? I don't know. But either way, I don't think it's good news for us fight fans. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. But that's pretty much all I gotta say on this one. So um, I'll catch you on the next video, people. Peace.